what's going on everybody day back again and today we're going to be taking a look at something from warhammer age of sigmar this of course is going to be from the Ozark bone reapers new release catacros mortark of the necropolis so i don't want this video to be a too long we're going to take a look at the boxes that come you have this outer shell that is right here Sliding that open reveals another box inside, which gives you a great shot of the Mortark itself. This is like the artwork for Warhammer and the guys over there at GW is fantastic. I really do like it. So as you can see, you get art on the front side and the back side. So those are the two boxes that it comes into. There is a black slide out that ends up coming in, basically making it a, a third box. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna jump over the table, take a look at this. I'm gonna show you the runners up close and everything. And then I'm gonna get to work and getting this guy together because I've been waiting like since it's released to, to get this in my hands. What's going on YouTube? Here we are with the box once again and I have been playing around with my intro, so that's where we're getting the rotating base and everything. I have a little table set up right over there, uh, give you guys some different views and something a little bit different. But I still want to go over the box because I want to go up close on the back, the back side. In GW fashion, with their expensive end, uh, this retailing off of GW for 110, but that's not how much I ended up getting it for. There is a link down below. Uh, you get about 15%, maybe about 20% uh, off on Amazon. Don't tell GW though, cause they'll get pissed off. Taking a look at the backside here and man, oh, this thing is so cool. I can't wait until next paycheck and I can pick up some of the others for this series. I do have a lot of minis and you're going to ask me, Dave, how well do you play? Um, I don't, I I've never played a game of, of, uh, 40 K, uh, fantasy of anything like that. I'd like to, I don't have anybody to play with here or to learn, I, but I love the, the aspects of the minis and the details and stuff. And you're probably going to shit bricks when you see, you know, you see all of this. It's basically a little diorama, but you're gonna, you're gonna crap yourself when you see, well, how small it is. So here we have the top side of the box and I wanted to get you guys all up, up close with this because there's no other way to look at this. You have the Supreme Strategist of the Ossiarch Empire. Uh, you have the India Kyat, I believe that's how that's pronounced, and that's going to be the weapon that he's carrying. And he has four minions with him. Now the way that this ends up playing, and I will show you the instructions even though I don't play, but it might come in handy for someone. Uh, other channels, they just kind of flip through and look real quick. The way this ends up playing is as you attack him, you kill off these guys, and then once they're all dead, he becomes even more powerful. Uh, so yeah, this should be interesting. I'm going to, if I have the magnets, I'm going to magnetize these, of course, to the base. And we might do some lighting effects. I don't know that this will ever hit a tabletop, but it should look good on a shelf. Uh, you have a shield of Immortus. You get a close-up shot of his face over here. Uh, you get some shots of the Liege Immortus. Uh, Nadrite Dueling Blade. Scrolling down a little bit, of course, there's the shield again. And you have the banner of Catacross, the guy carrying it, which is the banner bearer. Getting down here, you get some back shots. You get the Gnosis Scroll Bearer. You get the front side, which actually has engravings for the runes that are on there, so that's good. You get big skulls all over the base on here. You get the Aviarch Spy Master. He's got a couple of birds there. Very, very cool. So inside this box, you get another box like I ended up showing. And I really wish, I really wish I had a poster of this. Um, I like this a lot. You get the artwork that's on this side and you just get a kind of pulled back shot of that as well. So as you can see up close, it's a little greeny, could have been a little clear, but this one looks really, really, really good. So you get the banner bearer, you get all of these, you get all the bone dudes. I just, this is so cool. And inside of that, you get a tray with one base, one runner, and I guess you could consider it too, but one runner, 
and some instructions. All right, for those that are instruction lovers, here you go. Here's the Catacross uh, Mortark of Necropolis. We'll just go through this real quick. The instructions I'll put up there, and if you want to, you can pause them to take a look at them. You get the build up, more build up, building these little guys. And I have to say, for, for all that this is, I think GW did a great, great job of the breakdown of all the parts, making, you know, it's minimal. Like I said, there's a one runner, and I'll show you how detailed all those parts are. Getting onto it, like literally, there's like six sections of build up on here. You get some paint uh, paint recommend recommendations on here of how to end up painting these. You get some instructions on here. Catacross uh, Mortark of the Necropolis. And if you like, you can just pause this and zoom in on that. It does come in a couple of different languages, which is French, Espanol, Dutch, Italian. And then your final back shot on here of everything with more, you know, color guides as far as for painting this. All right. And here is, here is our runner. Wow. Okay. What I've actually done is play around with the lighting a little bit. I want to be able to get all of the shadows, everything. And that runner does snap in half. So that's what I've done. I've zoomed up to, well, pretty much maximum until I start picking up the stuff and holding it up to the camera. But look at all these details like on here. I haven't cranked up the lighting, but you can see that the runes are actually put onto the scroll here. This is for the scroll bear. I'm just going to take you over all of the pieces. You get the little carrion bird. Uh, I don't know if that's a carrion bird. I know that one's a carrion bird, but I'm not sure if that's the same. It almost looks like a bone style, but I know that's a carrion bird. But I just want to show you guys all of the details up close. This is the base and look at it. I know we're gonna to have to put some sand on here to cover up the plastic sand because it just doesn't look right. You have runes, you have lines, you have all kinds of stuff. You got big skull over here. And I think there's another skull, piece of skull right there. Some of the pieces on the backside, you've got the inside of the cage over here. You get for the headdress. Taking a look at this one here, just so many details. The shield is pretty big actually for, for a mini it's pretty big looking over you get the cape for uh catacross this is for his waist uh his legs this is the front side i believe this is his back this is the spear this is one of the guys and i really like the fact that i think this is the coolest guy um he he looks like a samurai and a lot of the the newer ones that they're doing the armor they have is very samurai-esque you can see on the inside it looks like on the shield it actually looks like it's wood like it has a uh, wood texture very very cool but i wanted to show you guys this before i ended up building it up so what do you get for your money you get one i'm going to count these as two runners one runner two runners a base, an instruction booklet, and a couple of cool boxes, but those are going to get tossed in the trash anyway. But that's what you end up getting. I'm going to end up building this up and then I will come back and I'll probably do like a quick 360 or something with it all primed up, show it to you guys, and then uh, it'll end up sitting to the side. And I, something like this, I like just, I like picking at it. I like a little doing little bits here and there and figuring out what I want to do. I know I want to do a lot of glowing effects because, well, this is a death faction and there's a lot of glowing stuff. I want to change around how they did end up doing some stuff. Um, so it should be pretty cool. Definitely stick around. We'll get to this here shortly. Um, it, I'll probably have this built by the end of the night tonight. I will see you guys all in the next video. As usual, YouTube, peace out.